Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 9. Let's go ahead and get started with this partial fraction decomposition. Let's focus on the denominator right now. You can see we have a three linear factors at the denominators that means we are going to have three fractions first one separated by plus sign and then another one all right so the first one is x minus one the second one is going to be x plus two all the linear factors and this is x minus three and then on the numerator it's going to be constant a for the first one constant b for the second and constant c for the third and our task is to find the value of a b and c and the next step is right now let's focus on this denominator on the left hand side this part everything whatever do you see I am going to multiply this across the board. I'm going to multiply with the left hand side x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. Likewise, I'm going to multiply on this side x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3 for this first fraction likewise for the second one is going to be x minus 1 x plus 2 and x minus 3 and finally for this third fraction is going to be x minus 1 x plus 2 times x minus 3 all right now here is our next step we are going to look at this over here on the left hand side fraction this x minus 1 cancel with this x minus 1 x plus 2 is gone with this x plus 2 and x minus 3 is gone with this one so we simply ended up with 12 min plus rather 5x minus 4x squared on the left hand side equals to and now let's focus on this right hand side this x minus 1 is gone with this x minus 1 so we ended up with a times x plus 2 times x minus 3 plus let's go ahead and look at the second fraction this x plus 2 cancel with this x plus 2 so we are left with b times x minus 1 times x minus 3 and finally this x minus 3 is gone with this x minus 3 so we got simply plus c times x minus 1 times x plus and I am going to call this big long equation as number 1 and here is our next step we are gonna be looking at this quick trick look for linear factors in the denominator and we can see that we got these three linear factors x minus 1 x plus 2 and x minus 3 I am going to write them down over here x minus 1 separated by a bar or I'm going to put the second one right here x plus 2 and then finally I'm going to put x minus 3 over here I am going to set each and every these one equal to 0 okay so that means this very first is going to become x equal to positive 1 the second one is going to become x equal to negative 2 and finally x equal to positive 
3. So we got 3x values. And now let's focus on this x equal to 1 value over here. I have just wrote down, put x equal to 1 in this equation 1. That means wherever we see x, we are going to replace it by 1. So let's go ahead and do that 1. So this equation 1 is going to become, on the left hand side is 12 plus 5 times 1 minus 4 times 1 square equals to over here a times 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 3 and now let's look at this over here x minus 1 we know x is 1 1 minus 1 is going to make it a 0 0 means that when it's b multiplied to this 0 and everything this whole term is going to become 0. Likewise, look at this, this one over here. x minus 1, once again x is 1 minus 1 means 0. 0 times the whole thing is going to become 0 as well. So I am going to write down over here plus 0 plus zero let's simplify furthermore over here this is 12 5 times 1 is 5 minus 1 times 1 square is 1 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 equals to a times 3 times negative 2 which is going to give us if you simplify that thing that's going to give us 13 on the left hand side equal to negative 6a that tells us that a turns out to be negative 13 over 6 that is our a value and now let's focus on x equal to negative 2 and here I wrote down put x equal to negative 2 in this equation 1. So that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by negative 2. Let's go ahead and get started. On the left hand side is going to be 12 plus 5 times negative 2 and then minus 4 times negative 2 square equal to let's look at this over here since we have x equal to negative 2 when we plug it in over here negative 2 plus 2 is going to give us 0 0 time this whole thing is going to become 0 all right and then we are going to put down plus this, this I'm going to put down 0 plus b times x is negative 2 minus 1 times negative 2 minus 3. And once again over here we have x plus 2. We know x is negative 2 plus 2 is going to make 0 and 0 time whole thing is 0 so I am going to write down this is plus 0 let's simplify this one so on the left hand side that is going to be 12 minus 10 and here we got simply negative 4 2 square is 4 4 times negative 4 is going to make negative 16 equals to on this side that is going to be b times negative 3 times negative 5 and let's simplify this thing that is going to be negative 14 equals to positive 15 b that means that our b value is going to be negative 14 over 
15 so this is our b value and now finally let's look at this x equal to 3 value and here i wrote down put x equal to 3 in this equation one that means wherever we see x i am going to replace it by 3 let's go ahead and get started on the left hand side is going to become 12 plus 5 times 3 minus 4 times 3 square equals to let's look at over here when i put this x replace it by 3 3 minus 3 is going to make it a 0 0 means this whole thing is going to become 0 likewise if you look at this next term so this x replaced by 3 and then minus 3 that's going to make it a 0 0 time this whole thing is going to become 0 as well so i am going to write down 0 plus 0 plus we have a then c times x we are being replaced by 3 3 minus 1 times 3 plus 2 let's simplify this thing on the left hand side is 12 plus 15 and here 3 squared is 9 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 equals to here this c times 2 times 3 plus 2 makes 5 okay so on the left hand side when we simplify this thing that is going to give us negative 9 equals to 10 c that means c turns out to be negative 9 over 10 our c value so thus our a value turns out to be a negative 13 over 6 b value is negative 14 over 15 and c value negative 9 over 10. so thus in our partial fraction wherever we're going to see a i am going to replace it by negative 13 over 6 b being replaced by negative 14 over 15 and c by negative 9 over 10 and thus as you can see that a and b and c are being replaced by these fractions on the top and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye